If you want to learn how to embed a Google review slideshow like this on your WordPress website with no coding needed, you click on the right video. To do this, we're using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin and it will only take a few minutes. To purchase Reviews Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account, download Reviews Feed Pro, and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now inside your dashboard, on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new plugin. Next, click upload plugin and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro. Like this and click install now. Once installed, click activate plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. Before we can create our first Reviews Feed, we'll first have to activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you now notice Reviews Feed, go ahead and click on that. And over here, you can paste your license key from your Smash Balloon account and click activate. Now our license key has been activated and we can begin creating our Google review slider. At the top, click add new. And for the first step, we'll have to add a source for our feed. Click add source. And on this menu, you can see all the different sources you can use with the plugin. With Reviews Feed Pro, you can create a feed of reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. And since we're creating a Google review slider, you can select Google and click next. For step number two, we'll have to enter a Google API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen or follow our written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, paste it here like this and click next. And for step number three, we'll have to enter a place ID for the page we want to fetch our reviews from. To find the place ID for your business, you can click the link here. That will take you to Google's place ID tool. And if you scroll down on this map, you can search for the location you want to embed inside the feed. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Angelina Bakery, this one here in Times Square, New York City. And once you select it, you'll instantly see the place ID pop up here. You can copy it and paste it back inside the plugin. Once that's done, click finish. Now you can see Angelina Bakery added as a source inside the plugin and it's already selected for us as a source. So we can click next. And for our final step of creating our feed, we'll have to select a template for the layout of our Google review slider. We have options like the default, simple cards, and many more to select from. But since we're creating a Google review slider, we'll have to select from one of these carousel options at the bottom. We have the showcase carousel, carousel, and grid carousel. For this video, let's go with the carousel template and click next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our new Google review slider. This feed features all the latest reviews from Angelina Bakery, which we added as a source. And because it's a carousel template, we can swipe through the reviews inside the feed like this. The feed is now ready to be embedded inside our WordPress web page. But before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Layout. Inside this menu, you can find different options to customize the layout of your Google review slider. At the top, you'll notice we have the carousel layout selected, which once again, allows you to swipe through the reviews inside your feed like this. Next, above that, we have the masonry layout, which displays your Google reviews in rows and columns. And at the top, we have the list layout, which features your Google reviews in a single column list. For this tutorial, let's continue with the carousel layout. And if you scroll down, you can choose the number of reviews you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, we're displaying a maximum of nine reviews, but if you want to modify that, you can change it to the number of reviews you want to display. For example, if I change it to five, you'll notice that we have one less page at the bottom, and we only have five reviews to display inside the feed now. And underneath that, you can also choose how many columns you want inside your feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, we have three columns, but once again, to change it, you can type in the number of columns you want to display. For this example, let's go with two columns. And instantly, you can see now that we only have two columns inside the feed rather than three. Let's change that back to three. And lastly, at the bottom, you also have some specific layout options you can change for the carousel layout. You can choose whether you want to show the navigation arrows on the left and right hand side, as well as the pagination dots at the bottom, these ones here. If you want to hide them, you can deselect it like this, and it will then be hidden inside your Google Reviews widget. I'm going to bring that back. And at the bottom, you can also enable autoplay, which when enabled, automatically swipes through the Google Reviews inside your widget like this. I'm going to leave that disabled. And if you're happy with the layout of your Google Reviews widget, you'll click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify how each individual review is displayed inside the widget, go into the Customize tab and click on Reviews. Next, click on Edit Individual Elements. Inside this menu, you'll see all the different elements inside the reviews, such as the author and date, the star rating, the review paragraph, and images or videos if they're available. Each of these elements can be fully customized and hidden or displayed as you wish. For example, if I wanted to hide the author and date, I can deselect it, and that will now be hidden inside my reviews. Then I can bring it back, and instantly you'll see the author and date pop back up inside the reviews. You can do the same thing with the star rating, review paragraph, and the images or videos. But you might have noticed that the different elements inside the feed are changing in position. Right now, they're sitting at the bottom of the review. This just shows that you have control over how the different elements are stacked inside each review. Currently, the author and date element is sitting at the bottom, but if you want to move that back to the top, you can simply drag it and place it where you want it to be. And straight away, the author and date is now sitting back at the top of the review. You can do the exact same thing with any of the other elements too. For example, if I wanted to move the star rating to the bottom of the review, I can drag it and place it at the bottom like this. 
Now the star rating is sitting at the bottom of each review. This way you can customize exactly how you want the reviews to look on your WordPress website. And if you're happy with that, you can click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to moderate the reviews inside your feed, go into the settings tab and click on moderation. And if we enable moderation mode, you can choose the exact reviews you want to display inside your Google reviews widget. We have two options to use this, with the allow and block list. With the allow list, all your reviews will be hidden by default, apart from the ones you manually choose to display like this. Next, with the block list, all your reviews will be shown by default, apart from the ones you choose to manually hide. If you want to use moderation mode, you can click save and exit. But for this video, I'm going to disable it. And if you go back into settings and go into filters, you can see that we have several options to filter the reviews inside your Google reviews widget. At the top, we can filter reviews based on their star rating. Currently, I've got a filter set up to only display five star reviews, which you can see on the right hand side. Underneath that, you can also add words as filters so that your feed will only show or hide reviews containing those words. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also filter reviews based on their character count with a minimum and maximum character count. You can enter values here to only display short bite-sized reviews or longer in-depth ones if you'd like to. With these filtering and moderation options, you have complete control over the reviews you display inside your feed. If you've added any filters, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create, customize, and moderate your Google reviews widget, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do that, click embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. On your WordPress webpage, you have two different options to embed your Google reviews slider. The first option is by using a dedicated reviews feed block, or alternatively, we can go with the shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Once that's done, you can click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are now on our live WordPress website and right in the middle is our brand new Google reviews slider. The slider features all the latest reviews from Angelina Bakery, which we added as a source, and in a carousel layout, which allows us to swipe through it like this. Each review inside the feed features the author and date, the review content, and the star rating for that review. On the top right corner of each review, you also have a Google icon, indicating that the review is from Google. At the top of the feed, we also have a header for a widget, which displays the average star rating, the total number of reviews, and a write a review button. If we click on that, that takes us directly to the Google Place page for Angelina Bakery. This makes it super convenient for your site visitors to leave reviews on your Google business directly from your WordPress website. And that's how we can create, customize, and embed a Google review slider like this on your WordPress website. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.